Cedar Creek Performance, Jordan Anderson Racing, Capital City Towing, Blythewood Rodeo, Barry Wright Chassis, out of Blythewood, South Carolina, the Cowboy Kevin Godwin in the G2. And the double zero, the Bowens Dumpster Service, Shepherd Brothers Logging, RK Designs, Dockery Pools and Patios, Gatton's Towing, Styles Roofing, Stover Construction, car number double zero of Brandon Dockery out of Gastonia, North Carolina, in the double zero. Godwin on the hammer in the G2. Dockery with the fastest car in hot laps with a 17-281. Will we get in the 16 second bracket this time? Dockery second in points coming in tonight overall and your race city performance bonus points leader. As here comes Godwin 17 with an 8-3-5. 17-8-3-5 on Godwin. Dockery coming down 16-8-5-9. 16-8-5-9. Track about a half a second quicker than hot laps a little bit earlier. Can he go quicker? Godwin slows it down on lap number two as here comes Dockery down to take the checkered. 16-6-0-4, Brandon Dockery. Who's riding with Brandon Dockery tonight? 16 with a 6-0-4 setting the mark high on that double zero. What a lap for the double zero setting the mark high right out the, right the gate. Here comes your next pair rolling out. The white grate, the white grating, Paul Emboss Trucking, Yak and Concrete Pumping, La Coretta Mexican Restaurants, Moxville Concrete. Number 45 out of Moxville, North Carolina, the young gun himself, the Colt 45, Colton Stanley in the 45. And behind him, the Eminem Block and Head May Brothers Service, Double Nickel Race Cars, b &O Racing Shocks by Kenny Smith. Number 15 of Danbury, North Carolina's on the gut rocket, Gary Mabe. Colton Stanley looking solid on lap number one, looking for his first ever series triumph tonight. He'll go to second at a 17-5-0-3. Colton Stanley, second quick, 17-5-0-3. Gary Mabe down to the strike. 17-6-5-6. Now he'll go to third quick, 17-6-5-6 for Gary Mabe. Colton Stanley down to the line. He'll pick it up, 17-1-9-3, second quick for Stanley. Gary May working the wheel hard out of turn number four to the checkered. He'll pick it up as well, 17-3-2-9, 17.329 on Gary Mabe. So Stanley and Mabe second and third. And man, welcome back to the Carolina Speedway, the R&D Weaving. Brush Boys Land Management, Sin House of Speed, Vic Hill Racing Engines, Laser Racing Chassis, number 17 out of Bellwood, North Carolina, former track champion here at the Speedway and of Carolina Speedway Hall of Famer, Ron the Bull Parker. And the 11 behind him, the Jones Insurance Group, David's Entertainment, number 11 machine of Brian Foley. Renegade Racing Fuels also powering the effort for Brian Foley in the 11. Currently 10th in series points coming into the night. Rod Parker picked up the win last week at Harris. Let's see what he's got. 17-5-3-0, fourth quick for Ron Parker. 17-5-3-0. Brian Foley, 18-103, 18-103. Ron Parker coming down to the line, trying to pick it up on line number two. He's fourth quick on the first lap. Move him to third quick, 17-2-9-0. Ron the Bull Parker, third quick at a 17-2-9-0. Brian Foley picks it up a little bit at a 18-0-9-0. He'll go to six quick behind Godwin. Next rolling out, out of Taylorsville, North Carolina, the RPM Graphics Harrington's Machine Shop 05 of Jerry Farley coming to the green flag. And also rolling out on the speedway, the Sanders Brothers Construction, Earl's Performance Automotive, Dixie Racing Chassis, Eli W.F. Sanders High School Football Scholarship Foundation, SNS Custom Decals, out of Santee, South Carolina, the boss, Elliot Sanders in the 28. Brandon Dockery, the time to beat at a 16-6-0-4. That might, that, that could be quite overall quick time, but we still got a lot of shells left in the shotgun in both groups. Actually, only two more cars left in Group A. Jerry Farley, 19.250 for Farley, 19.250. Elliot Sanders, 18.464, 18.464 for Sanders. 
Jerry Farley, uh, a little bit of a push coming off turn four. He's all crossed up. He's going to get it back down to the line to keep it out of the wall. That'll hurt his effort on lap number two as here comes Sanders down to the line. He'll go to fit six quick, 18-0-2-1, 18-0-2-1 for Sanders. Should be your final two qualifiers in Group A. Welcome to the series tonight out of Charlotte, North Carolina, the car double zero junior of Rich Kukin Jr. in the double zero J, double zero junior. And behind him, the Ryan Road Racing Rocket, Dellinger Services Unlimited number 71 of Jason Womack. Your final two qualifiers in Group A. Rich Kukin down to the line. He'll go to fourth quick, 17-3-0-0. Rich Kukin Jr., fourth quick for the double zero. Jason Womack, he'll go to seventh, 17-9-9-0. And he's loose in one and two, gathers it up. He'll keep it pointed straight. Here comes Kukin down to the line. Second quick, Rich Kukin Jr., 16-9-95. 16-9-95, Rich Kukin Jr. Jason Womack, seventh quick. But how about Rich Kukin Jr., second quick out of Charlotte, North Carolina, at a 16.995. And that will complete Group A qualifying. So on the pole for heat race number one, and with a 16, with a time of 16.604, the Dockers, Pools and Patios, Shepherd Brothers, Logging, Bowens, Dumpster Service, Gatton's Towing, Stover Construction, Styles Roofing, Longhorn, out of Gastonia, North Carolina, Brandon Dockery, fastest car in Group A. Rich Kukin Jr. will start alongside in the second spot. Here comes your first two out for Group B. Your reigning series champion out of Swansea, South Carolina, the SNS Custom Decals, Irmo Grading, Hugo's Laundry, Kimberlin Farms, Mark Shawy Racing Engines, Dixie Racing Chassis, Sanders Brothers Construction, number 10 of the, the Dark Horse, Scott Shirey in the car number 10, and your current series points leader, the Knights Lawn Care, Punky's Own Main, Carolina Mechanical Heating and Cooling, Wayne, Sprinkler, Wayne Water Sprinklers, PJ Sales Montgomery Towing, number T1 out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, Timbo Mangum. 16604 overall, time to beat for Brandon Dockery. 17.636 for Shirey, lap one. Here comes Timbo down to the line. 17.129 for Timbo Mangum. 17.129 for Timbo Mangum. Timbo Mangum, 17-129, setting the mark to beat at a 17-129. Here comes your second group, next group on the speedway, the Schroeders Towing Giles Auto Repair, Omo Grady. Quick way stores, number 18 of Aaron Weed at Irmo, South Carolina. And the seven machine, the Gatton's Towing, Harrison's RV, car number seven, Trackhouse Motorplex on the seven of the Professor Dan Brewer. Picked up a win last year at Lakeview with us, looking to do it again tonight here in the Steve Heights Tribute. Aaron Weed down, 17-7-3-2 for lap one for Weed. And here comes the professor, Dan Brewer, down to the line. Third quick, 17-7-0-5 for Dan Brewer. Aaron Weed down to the line. He'll go to second quick, 17-2-1-3 for Aaron Weed. Dan Brewer trying to get that seven car to hook up down to the down to the line. 17-4-0-0 and fourth quick for Dan Brewer. 17-4-0-0 for Dan Brewer. Timbo Mangum, still the time to beat. 17-129. Here comes your next pair. Right out of Gastonia, the intense graphics ML performance number 89 of Pat Lindsay in the 89. And the 537, a former fall brawl winner at East Lincoln with the Blue Ridge Outlaws, the Abco Performance Caddy Industries. Great insider, car number 537 of Jesse Rocket. Pat Lindsey, he, he was top five overall during hot laps. We'll see what he's got here on this run. Didn't make last week's event in Harris from picking, getting the repairs done from Lancaster. 
He got way up high going into turn three, gasses it up down to the line. Pat Lindsey down. 17-6-2-1 on lap one for Pat Lindsey. 17-6-2-1, here comes Jesse Rocket. To the pole, 16-7-2-0, second quick overall, but fastest in group B right now for Jesse Rocket. Pat Lindsey, 17-7-0-8, slows down. Can Rocket get quicker on lap number two? Here he comes down to the line. Slows it down on lap number two, but we got a new sheriff in town, and it's Jesse Rocket, 16-7-2-0, fastest in group B right now, but still second overall, quickest time. Next pair rolling out, leader of the Ben Gable Properties Rookie of the Year points chase. Out of Sumter, South Carolina, the Osteen Remodeling Repair, Leo's Chicken Wings, the Art Tattoo Company, the Gutter Company, Twisty Pig Barbecue, car number 91 of Dalton Hodge coming to the green. And also on the speedway, the Mid-Atlantic Roofing Farmer Service Center, Persley Grading, car 09 out of Clover, South Carolina, this is Johnny Persley. Persley picked up a second at Lancaster a few weeks ago, had another top five run last week at Harris. Here comes Dalton Hodge down to the line. It's 18-3-1-3 for Dalton Hodge on lap number one. Johnny Persley down to the line. Second quick Johnny Persley, and he'll shovel up the racetrack 17.111 for Johnny Persley in second quick. Dalton Hodge will stay in eighth, but he'll improve at a 17.624. Here comes Persley. 17.099, Johnny Persley. Johnny Persley, second quick. So that's Jesse Rocket, Johnny Persley, Timbo Mangum, Aaron Weed, and Scott Shirey. Still a, a, quite a few fast cars left to go. Fifth and overall in the points coming in tonight. The Gettings Construction, Stokes Properties, Southern Dirt Works, Ergles Paint and Body, Rocket Chassis. Number 28 machine of Justin Mintz down to the line. Mintz racing engines for the 28 of Justin Mintz. And also on the Speedway, your 2022 Series champion out of Ronda, North Carolina, the versified finishers, m &W Cattle Company, Longhorn Chassis, number four of the Ronda Rocket, Matthew Nance. Justin Mintz down to the line. He'll go to fifth on lap one, 17-385. 17-385 for Mintz. Here comes Mintz, or Nance down to the line. Second quick, 17-050 from the Ronda Rocket. Second quick. Here comes Mintz down to the line. Six quick, 17-2-3-7. Nance going to try to improve on lap number two down to the line. Still second quick, 16-8-5-9 for Matthew Nance. Second quick in group, in group B with a 16.859. I believe that's third quick overall, 16-8-5-9. Second quick now for Nance. Here comes the man that has won the last two King of the Carolinas Buddy Smith Memorial Races. Out of Rutherford, North Carolina, the Crate Insider, KRC Power Steering, SSI Motorsports, Hendron Racing Engines, number 29A. Out of Rutherford, North Carolina, Alex Hendron in the 29. And also on the Speedway, out of Lancaster, South Carolina, the Austin Dental, number 78 of Hank Taylor. Hank Taylor working down to the line. He'll take the green flag. Hendren, does he have anything for Jesse Rocket? Lap number one for Hendren coming across. Fourth quick overall, fourth quick right there in this group. 17-109, fourth quick for Alex Hendren. Hank Taylor having some problems in that 78 car as he'll get it matted up down to the line. Here comes Hendren down to the line. Can he get to the top? Third quick, 16-9-5-2 for Alex Hendren. Third quick, 16-9-5-2. Hank Taylor, more problems on the 78. It's 18661 is what he'll lock in with. And Hank Taylor, more problems on the 78. So Jesse Rocket, Matthew Nance, Alex Hendren, Johnny Persley, and Timbo Mangum, top five. How about that heat, Jack? Think about those cars. That's a stacked, stacked heat. 
So next rolling out, his first start of the 2024 season here with us, the Max Baxter Roofing, Warrior Race Cars, Todd Chastain HVAC, Bill Stein Shocks, number 42 at of Bessemer City, North Carolina. He was second overall during hot laps a little bit earlier out of his Mark Green in the 42. Green has been competing in super late model competition. He's scaled back to join us tonight here with the Blue Ridge Outlaws here this weekend for Double Barrel Weekend as Mark Green sails it into turn three. Jumps a little high off the corner. Might have to go to lap number two to see if he can improve. 17-4-4-5 for Mark Green. 17-4-4-5 at his 10th quick right now after the first lap for the, 20, for the 42 car. Mark Green buries it in turn three and four. This is going to be a good lap as they come down to the line. Second quick, Mark Green, 16, 8, 33. 16, 8, 33, Mark Green. Second quick for the 42. So Hank Taylor will get one more lap. Yeah, I thought it was the checkered, but he will get one more lap here. And Matt Long will also get one lap. He's in the High Sports Performance Long Brothers Special, Texas Steak and Tap House NJR Group. Car number 55 of the Hillbilly Deluxe, Matt Long, was able to get the car repaired from the incident during hot laps. And he'll get one lap only. Matt Long going to try to make his lap count. 16-7-2-0 by Jesse Rocket, the time to beat in Group B. Hank Taylor down to the line. 18-144, 18-144, as here comes Matt Long down. I believe that's eight quick for Matt Long at a 17.223 for Matt Long. And that completes qualifying tonight for the O'Reilly Auto Parts Fast Gun Pole Award qualifying for the Kegel Automotive Blue Ridge Outlaws powered by Newsom Raceway Parts Network, Raceway Chevrolet, and Chevrolet Performance, your fastest at Group B with a time of 16.720, Jesse Rocket, and your overall fast qualifier with a time of 16.604 right here out of Gastonia, North Carolina. The Shepherd Brothers Logging, Bowen's Dumpster Service, Dockery's Pools and Patios, RK Design, Stover Construction, Styles Roofing, Longhorn, Double Zero. Put your hands together for Brandon Dockery.